Hey folks, well I ordered a pocket quad today. It came. This is supposed to be the smallest quadcopter in the world. It comes in a kit. It all came in this little bag right here. And uh, we have a battery and charger, four motors, a satellite receiver, the frame and brain, and four motor mounts and four propellers. I bought some extra propellers. I got some green ones, so I'm going to put those on it. Uh, there's no instructions. I'm going to just try to put it together best I can. I love my big stuff. You know, my big six-pack flame wheels, a great flying machine. And I also built my first quad, which was kind of big. I used a KK board from Hobby King. I never ever had any problems with that board. And so when I saw this little machine with the same uh, KK setup, it intrigued me enough to go ahead and get it. You know, the design's pretty logical, and that is to make it simple and as strong as you can. Well, the whole thing's a kit, and it's pretty ingenious. The motors push into the motor mounts, then the motor mounts simply push on to the circuit board. I made mine with both red motors at the front. Each motor then easily plugs into the connectors on the board. I'm a big fan of Velcro, and I love the very thin Velcro the best. And for this application, it really works perfect for installing the receiver and battery. I also used my orange transmitter and bound it to the receiver that was included. It's a satellite receiver. In order to bind it, you need to plug it into an orange receiver with a satellite port. I have all the newer orange receivers which do not need satellite radios, so I used one in my Blade 400. I just simply plug the satellite into the orange receiver, bind it like normal. Then I removed it and plugged it back into the pocket quads plug. Next I installed the propellers and I was careful to use the bottom of the motor braced and then push on them. They just push on. You're also going to need to download the program MultiWeeGui. It's free and once you download and unzip it, you just simply plug in the USB plug to your quad and start the program. You're going to see everything you need. You're going to need to make sure to download version 2.1 as I did for this particular machine. But it's still going to need to be unzipped. When that's all done, click on this icon. This is your starting icon. When you click it, it'll download everything you need, including the drivers. Then when you plug in the USB port, it's going to simply load them into your quad. Once I could see what was going on, I found that I had to reverse my aileron and rudder on a transmitter. I watched the bars on the program, makes it real easy to do. And uh, whatever you do, it remembers it and automatically puts it into your quad. And that's pretty cool. To arm the quad, you need to throttle down and right rudder, full right rudder. To disarm it, you move the rudder to the full left. Well then programming the compass and leveler is easy too, just holding the wire for the USB plug. It's also a good way to make a spin up first, making sure everything is right, you've got a little handle to hang on to. I had no issues whatsoever, it worked perfect the first time. So let's see if it can fly, and let's see if it can fly outside. If you go online, you're going to find a manual. I'm going to put the links of it in the description box. Oh, oh, that's just cute. All right, let me get some trim here. <laughs> well, that's just cool.
<laughs> I love it. I mean, really, look at that. <laughs> it really climbs out. <laughs> wow. I'm blown away. Headwind. <laughs> that is absolutely cool. Well, I always wanted to try this. I'm just going to throw it up in the air. <laughs> wow. Amazing. And this wind. Well, folks, I'm totally impressed with this little machine. You know, I recommend it for a good science project and just downright fun. Thanks a lot for joining me today for this demonstration and hope maybe you saw something that might help you in the future should you decide to get a pocket quad. I'm taking mine with me right now. <laughs>